Paul Ryan, uh, the Paul Ryan, Ezra Klein in the Washington Post uh, blogging on this today, Paul Ryan's social engineering with a side of deficit reduction. He says, here's Paul Ryan's path to a balanced budget in three sentences. He cuts deep into spending on health care for the poor and some combination of education, infrastructure, research, public safety, and low income programs. The Affordable Care, sentence number one, sentence number two, the Affordable Care Act's Medicare cuts remain, but the military is spared as is Social Security. And there's a vague individual tax reform plan that leaves only two tax brackets, 10% and 25%, and will require either huge deficit-busting tax increases or increased taxes on poor and middle-class households. Gee, which do you think it'll be? As well as a vague corporate tax reform plan that lowers the top rate from 35 to 25%. In other words, uh, Paul Ryan, he's very clear about what he's going to cut. He is not going to come out and say out loud what he's going to tax. Nah, not going to do that. Wouldn't be prudent. And, of course, when he made the comment that we played earlier, well, it's so much fun to hear. I mean, this was a Freudian slip, obviously, and he corrected himself. But this was, this was in his uh, presentation this morning to the media where he's talking about his, uh, the, the new Paul Ryan budget. This is what he had to say. This, this to us is something that we're not going to give up on because we're not going to give up on destroying the health care system for the American people. Yeah. So we did not. It's out of context. I'll tell you that. Uh, you know, uh, but we didn't have to edit it. <laughs> it's like a gift. You know, these guys, it's the gifts, the gifts that keep on coming. They keep on giving. But basically, uh, I would say that, you know, obviously it was a Freudian slip. But you know what Freud said about Freudian slips and why they're called Freudian slips? Freudian slips are when people say what they really mean by accident. Seriously. That's why they're called Freudian slips, is because Sigmund Freud said humor is a way of saying what you really mean and pretending you don't. And sometimes people just slip and say what they really mean and then say, oops, and that's... You know, and I and Paul Ryan is absolutely committed to destroying Obamacare. What's really interesting is he's keeping all the revenue for Obamacare. You know, those increased taxes that that uh, two or three percent increased tax on capital gains profits over three hundred thousand dollars, and you know that they're all bloviating about. Oh, if you sell your home, you're going to pay tax. Well, only if you have a three hundred thousand dollar profit from selling your home. But it, it's really, a, you know, it's a it's a tax on people selling stocks. It's a, it's a tax on Mitt Romney. But in any case, and, and people who only pay at the capital gains rate, a top maximum rate of 20%, it makes basic, functionally it makes the, t- the maximum capital gains tax rate 23% or 22 and change. He's going to keep all those things, but instead of funding a health insurance program with them, he's going to use them to fill in the holes that are created by dropping the top income tax rate on millionaires and billionaires from 20 from 39%, which is where it is right now, down to 25%. Which is crazy. Reagan took the top rate tax rate down to 25%. He took it back up to 28%. I mean it just it, it created huge deficits. Reagan tripled our national debt in 8 years. And then Bush Sr. added another trillion dollars to it, which in today's money would be like two and a half or three trillion. So this is Reaganomics. This is not just Reaganomics. This is really not Reaganomics because Reaganomics was sold to us as austerity. But in fact, what it was was Keynesian economics. It was borrow and spend. This is austerity on steroids. Paul Ryan wants to do it to the United States. What the European Union is requiring Greece, the Greek government, to do to its citizens. There is virtually no difference. Don't tax the rich people. Lay off the government workers. Stick it to the average working person. Cut back on your health insurance programs. Cut back on your social safety net. And somehow you're going to cut your way to prosperity, even though it has never successfully been accomplished in the history of the world. In the history of the world. The way Reaganomics was sold has never worked in the history of the world. Supply-side economics never hit, worked in the history of the world. Austerity never worked in the history of the world, but that's what Paul Ryan and the Republicans are committed to. And John Boehner has got to be really wondering what's going on, because he knows this is crazy. <laughs>